All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahabaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai, and who I reverence. And honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few. The very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. This lesson is going to be called The Diseases, Sicknesses are nothing but what demons that attack the flesh. Any any sickness, as you can see by this image, you got a man, he has, he has a problem with his foot. That's a demon. You may have an air infection. That's a demon. You may have a bad knee. That's a demon. You may have a headache. It's a demon. It's an oppressive demon. A person on the flesh. Right? So I want you to know these things. If any of any of you brothers, any type of affirmity you have, that's Satan that use it. And a lot of the time, you may say, well, why is it? Because I've sinned partly. And some of it is because that's Satan trying to what stop you from believing. So he can use anything, the flesh, anything. So we're going to let the scriptures come out. And Lord willing, I hope this will be edifying. Okay. So we're going to go straight to Job 2. And jump to 3. Right. Actually, let's start at the top so we can get a higher level of understanding. And again, there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before the Lord, Yahweh. In other words, they were gathered. The two or three are gathered. Yahweh Shai is there. That's the altar. And Satan came also among them. So he's always there. He's always in the midst. Wherever the righteous are, you best know Satan's always there. To present himself before the Lord, Yahweh. So Satan, he ain't doing his own thing. He's following orders of the Heavenly Father. See, in these rich culverts and all that, culverts and all that, they're teaching you that he's rebelling. In these Masonic lodges, they teach you that he's rebelling. They're not rebelling. Right? So if you, you have these people on the left-hand side, they pray to Satan, they pray to them spirits, thinking they're rebelling. They're not rebelling. They're doing the will of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai because Satan answers to the heavenly father how do we know because it said he had to present himself before the lord before what that throne because it's a higher court you, you know Esau got his court systems there's a higher court in the heavens and the lord Jehovah said unto satan from whence comest thou and satan answered the lord Jehovah and said from going to and fro in the earth walking up and down walking up and down in it Right? And it's talking about the spiritual demon Satan that works upon what people's vessels. And the Lord Jehovah said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job? Right? So the Heavenly Father is very, very, very confident in his servant. Right? That there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man. Right? And consider, I'm reading Job chapter 2. Prior to this, a lot of things happened in Job chapter 1 to Job. There's a lot of things he suffered. And the perfect and upright man. So he's perfect in the sight of what the heavenly father. And you have a show. One that feared the most and eschewed evil. And still he holds fast his integrity. And that's the most important thing you can have in this truth. Integrity. Right? Not everybody has integrity. Right? Only a fruit, a few have that. Right? Although that move is me. Okay. Against him. Without a cause. So Satan's whole thing is to report. Chasten. Tempt. Then report back to the most and say. Well I got him on this. Uh, I caught him on this. I got him on that. And to move you. Against him. Okay. To destroy him without a cause. So that's Satan's whole agenda. It's to destroy you. To accuse you. 
Well, this is what your servant done. He done this last week. He done this uh, a few years ago. That's his whole duty. He's just doing what he was set up to do. And Satan answered the Lord Jehovah and said, skin for skin. And this is where he stepped it up a notch because there's different levels. Right? When it comes to chastisement, all these things. All that a man have will he give for his life. Put forth thy hand now and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. So Satan was trying to make another bet. All right, he still got his integrity. Now you know. Touch the flesh now, right? Let me let me plague his flesh, and that's why brothers, don't think it's strange. You were feeling good, perfect health. A couple of hours ago, then the health starts to deteriorate. That's Satan, and that's how you know. That is Satan. You're eating all the right foods. Right? But you got family members, they're eating pork, crab, lobster. And they somewhat their health is alright. So you know, because Satan's dealing with the people in the world. Just like um you got individuals that rub eat out of rubbish cans, they don't get sick. Because they're dealing them demons are working with them. Okay. And he said he would curse you to thy face. So, for what I'm saying, this whole bit. All right, all right. He's go, go, go further now. Let me, let me um attack his flesh. So what's this showing you? Because it says he will curse you to that face of Satan. He wants you to get to the point of agitation. This way you got to be spiritual. This is a spiritual war. He wants you to get to the point of frustration where you say, Nah, this ain't the truth anymore. That's what he wants you to do, to throw in the towel, to tap out, right? And Satan, yes, he uses what? The people of the world, he uses their vessel, right, to push down all these things. But I want to stay on topic. And the Lord you have, I said unto Satan, behold, he is in thy hand, but save his life. Uh, in other words, don't, 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 um, don't harm him physically. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord Jehovah. And smoke Job with sore boils. You know what sore boils is? It's an inflammation of the skin. That's a disease. Right? So when someone has boils on their flesh, that's a that's a disease. That's an attack on the flesh. Pain, inflammation, a swelling from the sole of his foot unto his crown. So it's all from his feet to his crown, to his head. And he took upon him a pot shirt to scrape. Pot shot his broken pottery himself with all when he sat down among the ashes, rented his wife unto him. Does that still retain that integrity? So it shows you how much uh, integrity these women have, little to none. And she said that because what the goodies were coming in. But as soon as Job his flesh started deteriorating, she you can imagine how she was. Ugh. You know, he still retained that integrity, cursed the most high and died. So Satan jumped on what? Someone that was very, very close to Job. His own wife. So it shows you how much faith these women have. I'm not saying all women are like that, but most of them. Why? Because they, they're about tangible things. The majority of them. They're about the moment. And you, you see it a lot of the time. Right? You see these men, they're doing well. But as soon as a bit of um tragedy comes to women, she's out there. She's out. A woman's supposed to stick with you through thick and thin. That's when you know you've got a real woman. Thick and thin. Right? Ren said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain that integrity and curse the most high and die? But he said unto her, Thou speaks as one of those foolish women speaketh. What shall we receive? Good at the hand of the most high, and shall not receive evil. So even with the chastisement of the flesh, sicknesses, that's considered evil. But you're still looking at it in a, what, a positive aspect. That is your house that brings these things upon us. Any sicknesses. Anything. It could be something small. Oh, my toe's hurting. Well, who who who, who done that? You're Satan, but your is sent Satan to do that. To see how you're going to react. And all this did not, did not Job sin with his lips. And you know what's so key? He did not sin with his lips. Because the whole bet was... That he would curse the most high. So that's what's going on today. Understand the spiritual realm. Understand the spiritual realm. 
when you're reading these scriptures, it really does give you an overall of what you're going through. See, men that catch a bit of hell, they go back into the world because they don't understand what they're going through. They don't understand the spiritual side of things. They're only looking at the carnal side of things. All right? So we're still on the premise of what sickness is. So now we're going to go to... Also, Paul. Paul had a, a helper. Okay, of the churches. All right? I don't know why certain men have watched certain videos as well of men saying, I don't, I don't like saying the church. Why do you like saying church? What's wrong with saying church? <laughs> okay. Maybe just a minute. We're not a Christian church, right? Well, actually, no, we are. In the, in the form of we are the true what, um, followers of Mashiach, the anointed. For some reason, men don't want to say that. Okay. They want to do what they want to do. So we're going to go to Philippians 2 and 27. Let's go to Philippians 2 and we're going to go to 20. Actually, I'm moving too far. Go to 25. Right. Go to 25. And a fellow, fellow Israelite that was sick near unto death. Right? Yet I was supposed it, this is Philippians 2 and 25. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you. Epa. Epa. Throw to this. Type it in. Strong's G1891. Epa Alright. Epa It says Epa my brother and companion in labor. Right, in other words, a brother in the truth, right, and fellow soldier, right. But your, but your messenger, and he that ministered to you, my wants, for he longed after you and was full of heaviness. This is Paul speaking of Epaphroditus, right. And know what the thing is. We're going to continue. It's short for more Aphrodite. Why? Because you had Greeks. Right, that were in that way of life, that were following these idols. Yes, Aphrodite, which was a woman, which goes back to Venus. Okay, woman worship. Right, but he was converted to the faith. So you had Greeks in all manner of life, and you go into that word Apapoditus. It means lovely, and associate with Paul in the ministry. Right, and he became no longer devoted to idols, but what to Yahavashai and to the ministry. Let's carry on, my brother, my companion in labor, a fellow soldier, but your messenger. And he ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all and was full of heaviness. Right? And that heaviness comes in the form of what? Sickness. Sickness can weigh you down. So even Esau knowing that, studying that, what's he going to do? Um, Poison the food. Poison the food. Because you have heard that, because you have heard that he had been sick, for indeed he was sick. Right? Excuse me, just a minute. For indeed he had been sick. He was funny, but you had heard indeed he was sick. I want to type in that word sick as well. Okay. Strong's G seven seventy. Astheneo. 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 It says on the outline biblical issue to be weak, feeble, to be without strength, powerless, to be weak in means, needy, poor. And I want to let brothers know there's going to be times in the flesh. I'm not talking about in the spirit. In the flesh, you're going to come across as very, very feeble, very weak. You may even lose some weight. Right? During these last few years, I've lost a lot of weight, but I'm putting more, I'm putting more weight on. I'm, eat, I'm eating a bit better. And that goes with fasting. That's why I lost so much weight, because I don't eat as much. But you're going to have brothers that come across as feeble, somewhat impotent, diseased, right? Which are demons that attack the flesh. But this servant, Aphrodite, he was still strong. And I commend, I truly, truly commend the brothers and sisters that are really going through all types of forms of sickness. And sometimes you won't even know. It's not that they're proud, it's just they're humble and they don't want to complain. And they just get through it. They suffer what silently. 
He was indeed near sick unto death. Right? Apopitus. I'm saying his name right. But the master had mercy on him. And not on him only, but all, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. And I sent him therefore the more carefully. Right? That when you see him again, you may rejoice, and that I may be less, I may be the less sorrowful. Receive him therefore in the Lord. Accept him with all gladness and hold such a reputation. It's about the lowly. This truth is about the lowly. It's not about the high and mighty, those that are boasting within the law. Because for the work of Mashak, he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life. So you got brothers, they, they're really going, going, going through things. But they're still pushing to supply your lack of servants toward me. This individual, he was near to sick unto death. St still pushing. So what's your excuse? And this one, see, I'm raising my voice now. I'm raising my voice now. What's your, to the men that are full abled bodies and you're alright, what's your excuse to not be doing the work? And the men that the men and these women that have the sicknesses that are still pushing, well, guess what? They're going to be shown mercy to some of the full capabilities. You can drive, you can do this, but you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. What, 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 man? I want to keep it calm. Keep it calm. And that's why the Lord's going to spew a lot of men out. He is spewing a lot of men out. Well, you wonder why men can't do videos because Yahushua doesn't want them to. And you have those that are sick poorly and they're still making their effort. And the scripture says the flesh is what weak, but the spirit is willing. I mean, many times I'm out, I'm out there, maybe on the highways and byways, bad stomach. It's not, it's not, it's not like you could take a, it's not like you could just take a dump anywhere. You may have a bad stomach. But we still do this, and that's why there's no greater love than the man who will lay down his life for his brethren. A lot of the time you won't know because brothers don't complain. They, they just get on with it. And that's why a particular brothers and sisters have an increase. Because the things they had to go through, experience. <sighs> so that was Aphrodite. Okay, Paul's companion and the helper. Right? That also was what dealing with sicknesses. So now we're going to go to also after that we also had Joe and um, Paul because Paul suffered what same thing same thing near enough the same thing but it was not near unto death but this was a permanent thing he had in his flesh go to 1 Corinthians 15 and 39 this truth is about being selfless right Go to First Corinthians. We're gonna to go to First Corinthians 15 and 39. All right. Show me the right one. Second Corinthians. What's it? 15. 15 and 39. First Corinthians, I'm moving too fast. Fifteen and thirty-nine. For some reason, it's coming up with the wrong scripture. Check this out. Came up with the wrong one. It's Second Corinthians twelve and seven. Unless I should be exalted above measure. Let's quickly write this out. I want to get this in the blue letter as well. Everything we go through is to glorify you, have a shy. Everything. Okay. Alright, we've got this on deck. So this is second Corinthians 12 and 7. Right? And lest I shall be exalted above measure, I don't want to be exalted above measure. You have you have men in this trip, they're exalted above measure. Okay? That's why they're proud. That's why they're high-minded. 
right? This I should be exalted above measure, and that's what we don't want. Okay, through the abundance of what revelations, because Paul had many revelations. He saw a lot of things that others couldn't see in the spirit. That's why he was doing so much warnings about those with seducing spirits, false brethren. He saw a lot of things that other men did not see. Men crept in the ways, all these different things. So, the Lord Yahweh is dealing with you. You're going to be given abundance of different revelations. Right, tapping up with revelations. Apoc Apocalypsis. Lay in bare, make naked disclosure of truth, instruction concerning things before unknown. And we're not talking about um, searching out iniquities. We're not talking about that. Okay. Use of events by which things or states of things personal, withdrawn from view, are made visible to all. Right? And a revelation that was given to me, a thorn in the flesh. Key thing, a thorn in the flesh. Now we're going to go into that word, the thorn. And it's a scallops, a pointed piece of wood. It doesn't mean it was wood in his flesh. A pearl. It means if there's wood in your flesh, a splinter. What's that? It's an irritant. You need to get that. And I've had it a lot of the time where wood goes into your fingertips. And it's an irritant. Unless you pull it out. Right? A pearl, a stake, a sharp stake. A splinter. So it was some type of form of agitation of the flesh. Right? And that's why there's also a law on... Um, not mixing fabrics because that also causes what skin irritation right point a prick or figures to your body annoyance or disability of form so what if paul was here today you probably have individuals that were taking a mick according to what disability he had or he's disabled and you've got to be a fool if, if you're disabled yourself to take the piss out of somebody else that's disabled you've got to be an utter fool a utter fool. Here it is. You're disabled yourself. But you're a lot of men, it's like they're in a reprobate mind. Reprobate, reprobate mind. Okay. And it says, was given to me a thorn in the flesh. The messenger of Satan. Messenger. Satan gave him that. Right? To buffet me. Lest I should be exalted above measure. So it was for his good. <laughs> so Yahweh Abishai could use Satan to do something for you for your own good unless you should be exalted above measure why? because you have those today that they're exalted above measure okay so through the abundance of revelations Yahweh Shai, what he needs to keep us leveled so how does he do that? through what? chastise me for this thing I besought the Lord thrice, twice that it might depart from me, that it might leave me. So Paul was praying about it. And there may be particular sicknesses we may have or praying about it, but it's still there. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. My grace is enough, my mercy. Right? Okay. All right, you got this, you're dealing with, but, you know, you're the elect, you're going to be saved. For thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. So that's where you really, really get to show your strength and you have a show you really get to call on him and depend on him more when we're weak. It's in our weak moments where the most strong. And that's when you have a show what power can be shown. It can't, how can it be always shown if, if you're so-called strong yourself? That's why he uses what the weak things of the world, paraphrasing to confound the things that are what mighty. Right? Most gladly, therefore, would I rather glory in my affirmities. That glory in that. That the power of my shot may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in affirmities and reproaches, people talking smack, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for much yet's sake, for when I am weak, when I am strong. Right? So there is um, strength in weakness, there is strength in humility. But the world don't see it like that. The world don't see it like that. Oh, really? push over. Weak, weak. But you examine these same men, yeah, they're weak mentally. They're weak. They may have it in the flesh, but mentally, they're not there. Right? And that's why what the ultimate physician, Mark 2 and 17, we're going to shut off on this. Right? Mark 2 and... Go straight to verse... 16... 
right? Let's go to 15. It came to pass that at Yahushua sat at the meat in his house. Many publicans, sinners, sat also together with Yahushua. The publicans were tax collectors, right? Debt collectors, collect money, right? Today in the UK, they call it bailiffs. And they're not very popular, okay, with the public. They're very looked down upon, right? They get a lot of slack. Okay, and together with Yahweh they sat with Yahweh Shai. So the people of this world, they'd be saying, hold on, no, what, hold, no way, him and his disciples, for there were many, and they followed him. And these were sinners. These weren't those that were high pompous. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with the publicans and sinners, they said unto his disciples, how is it that he eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners? They felt a particular way. When you have a shot, I heard it, he saith unto them, They that are whole need no physician. No need, no need, no have no need of a physician. Those that are already whole. Right? But they that are sick. Right? So if you are whole, there's no need for that physician. The physician is you have a shy. But they that are sick. Right? That's why you have a shy came to what? Tend to the sick. And those that acknowledge they're sick are people they don't want to acknowledge they're sick so they can't be healed if you don't acknowledge that i came not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance and this is what it's all about the sinners coming back to yahweh shai right and repenting okay that's what it's about so with this lesson i really hope this was edifying and yes sicknesses are nothing but what demons all right and until the next time shadow arm to the hopeful elect shadow arm